Today I am going over stretches for low back pain. First, I want to go over what I call flexion stretches. These are stretches that stretch back extensor and hip extensor muscles. If you experience any sharp pain from your spine during any of these stretches, skip these stretches and check out part 2 and 3 of this video. I really like knee to chest stretches because they allow the spine to be supported while stretching the hip and quadratus laborum muscle of the lower back. Single knee to chest stretch is more gentle than double knee to chest stretch. But for some people, double knee to chest stretch is less painful than single knee to chest stretch. To do this, you simply pull your knee toward your chest. You can hold the knee from the front or from the back. You could even use a towel to help pull the knee if there is a lot of tightness. Lastly, you could do this type of stretch on your side as well as on your back. Hamstring stretch is very helpful in relieving low back pain because hamstrings attach to the lower back. Tightness in the hamstring could contribute to increased tension in the lower back. I prefer to do the standing version of this stretch, but you could also do this lying down on your back while utilizing a strap. Child pose is another one of my favorite flexion stretches because you can control your spine much better in a quadruped or hands and knees position. If any of these flexion stretches give you sharp pain in your spine, there is a good chance that you shouldn't do them. Instead, try to do extension stretch like prong elbows. I like to start by getting into the prong position, relax my body, and then prop my upper body up onto my elbows. This is a useful exercise to reduce posterior disc injuries. After seeing prong elbow stretch, you might think that looks like the cobra stretch from yoga. And you will be correct, this is a modified cobra pose. The cobra stretch has the exact same benefit except it is much more intense because you are propping your upper body up much higher. If you have sharp pain doing both flexion and extension stretches, you can try lumbar traction stretches. Lumbar traction is a very safe way to stretch your lower back. Assuming that you don't have a spinal cord injury or a spinal fracture, you really don't need a mechanical lumbar traction machine to traction your lower back. My favorite positions to do lumbar traction are in the sitting position and in the standing position. For sitting position lumbar traction, start by sitting in the chair, preferably with armrests. If you have armrests, just put your hands on the armrests and then straighten your elbows. This is going to put most of your weight on your wrist. Try to relax your lower body until you feel a stretch in your spine. If there is no armrest, you could scoot to the edge of the chair and almost slip your hips off the chair a little. For standing position lumbar traction, you could use a kitchen counter or a vanity top. For the first version, put your wrists on the counter, keep your elbows straight, and put your body weight onto your wrists. For the second version, put your elbow and forearms on the counter. Try to get your body as close to the counter as possible. Bend your knees so you put your body weight onto your elbows. If you can tolerate it, you can try hanging from a pull-up bar. This is much more difficult because you have to keep a very good grip on the pull-up bar and the stretch is much more intense. Most people will benefit from at least one of these stretches. You just have to find something that works for you. These stretches are not for everybody. Like I mentioned before, these stretches will probably not help you if you have a spinal cord injury or a spinal fracture. This might also be too painful for people with very acute or very severe lumbar disc injuries. If you want to know how to massage your lower back for low back pain, you could check out my video using the link below. Oh, 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 oh,